Hello fellow grower, I'm back again and welcome to my channel, The Late Grower. Now, uh, I have to uh, apologize because in the last two months I was not able to upload any video. Uh, you see, going into the holidays I got uh, busy and uh, immediately after that I had some obligations to, to fulfill. So in those last two months I was not able to fully attend to my uh, plants, to my gardening chores and uh, some of them uh, su suffered so uh, right now i am uh, starting to rehabilitate uh, some of them and uh, from here on uh, you can see me uploading videos regularly uh, by the way i have to thank uh, all of my subscribers who have uh, stayed uh, with me even though i have not uploaded uh, new videos in the last two months and also to thank the new subscribers well, when I checked this morning, my uh, subscriber base is already 926. Well, that, that's a big leap. Uh, actually, if I may, uh, if I may uh, uh, say it that way, it's quite a big uh, leap from my previous two months. And uh, the numbers are uh, slowly but surely adding up on a daily basis. So I'd like to thank both old and new subscribers for uh, believing in uh, the channel. Okay, now for today, uh, I'd like to give you an update on my poinsettia plants. Here they are now. I started them uh, from uh, cuttings. You see, uh, if you watch my previous video, I uh, tried to root uh, mature poinsettia cuttings and uh, I was uh, kind of uh, successful. Okay, and uh, right now, here they are. As you can see, they are uh, quite uh, tall already, uh, stretching. And uh, at this point, it's uh, about the right time to trim these uh, poinsettias because uh, I'd like to uh, uh, have them or to make them bushier. At least they must look bushy, bushier. Okay, and right now, uh, in particular, this plant, this one only has uh, one lead stem and another on the uh, side. So I'd like uh, the laterals here here and uh, also somewhere here to grow branches to become branches so uh, they would look uh, bushier and uh, would be better looking when they start to uh, flower okay so without much ado let me show you how to cut and trim a poinsettia plant okay now, as I said, the purpose of this uh, trimming is to encourage the growth of uh, laterals, okay, and uh, also so as not to make them too tall. If I allow them to grow a lot, I uh, may not be able to, uh, I may not be able to uh, contain the roots of uh, this poinsettia if I would allow it to uh, just grow tall, okay, so... Let me show you where I would cut this uh, poinsettia. There is another uh, branch here, and I would uh, prefer to cut it in this uh, portion. Just about the same height. Okay, this uh, poinsettia has a lot of uh, sap. So... Uh, I'm not allergic to its sap, but uh, I try to avoid it uh, on my skin also. Okay, now uh, when cutting poinsettias, uh, trimming them in particular, uh, normally the upper one, one inch of the branch dries up. Okay, so uh, just like in the case of uh, this branch when I rooted it, about one inch from the top dried up. And uh, the growth came from the uh, immediately lower node. The same thing with this one. I don't know if you can see clearly. This one. So you can see about one inch from the top dried up. So you can expect to see growth uh, on the next lower node. In this case, this one might uh, dry up also. So we can expect to see this uh, node to uh, grow into a lateral. Okay, let's cut this uh, other one.
There you go. This other one too. Also, when I when uh, I cut, uh, I cut at least six inches from the top, so I can uh, later on propagate this uh, poinsettia. I'm going to root these uh, branches that I cut actually. So let's cut it here immediately below the node. Okay. And this last one, sorry for the noise, <laughs> my house is beside the road so there are a lot of uh, motorcycles passing by, this one let's cut it here. Okay, so now that they are all cut, by the way, uh, I will return them right back to their uh, uh, sunny po sunny uh, location. Uh, they need uh, a lot of sun actually, even though they have been uh, trimmed. And uh, this may also be the opportune time to give them some fertilizers. Just a few triple 14 fertilizer, around uh, 6 to 8. Uh, granules. Now, but uh, before I do that, uh, I have to prepare these uh, branches, I have to ready them for uh, uh, propagation, no? so let me just uh, cut off the leaves first. Now there you go, I have uh, already removed uh, most of the leaves, I just uh, retained uh, a few, okay. Maybe I still have to remove uh, one or two of these leaves just to uh, let one remain. Sorry for the noise again. Okay, now uh, after removing the leaves, the next thing that I would do is to submerge this in this uh, plant growth hormone uh, solution. Okay, so let me just open this uh, bottle. Okay, uh, now they are submerged and uh, this is a liquid uh, growth uh, solution and it says here in the bottle that uh, I have to uh, soak these uh, branches for uh, 15 minutes and after 15 minutes I'm going to plant them in this uh, uh, pot. Okay. Okay, 15 minutes have passed and it's now time to uh, plant these uh, cuttings. Now what I normally do is to uh, water the uh, soil uh, uh, ahead so it can uh, soak the soil uh, properly. And uh, what I do next is to insert a stick to create a hole. Okay, you see the... Uh, Cutting has this uh, growth hormone and you don't want that to uh, sort of uh, dissipate or uh, be lost when uh, inserting in the uh, soil. Now what I would do next here is just to create a nice uh, spacing. There are just four of them so this should be no problem. So about three inches in deep. Just to make sure that it will not reach the bottom. Okay. Here again. And then one here. Okay, so now, uh, of course, you get the point. Okay. Now I will remove this one and uh, insert it in the hole that uh, I made. Just like that. Make sure that at least two nodes are uh, buried. Okay. And just uh, squeeze the soil towards the uh, cutting. No need to water at this stage because the soil is already uh, uh, moist. And uh, if you water it, uh, just after planting the uh, branches or the cutting, it might wash away the uh, rooting hormone. So no need to water. Just make sure that the soil is already moist. Okay, so that's the idea. And uh, afterwards, 
what I have to do is to cover this with transparent plastic and uh, place it in a uh, location where it is not exposed to direct uh, sunlight. There can be some light, but uh, definitely not direct sunlight because it will immediately wilt and uh, die. What I have to do is to give it a sort of an environment where it is uh, controlled. Okay. So that's about it. I, I, I am sure you got the idea. And uh, once again, let me thank all those uh, new subscribers who joined the channel and uh, most especially those who have already subscribed to the channel for the past few months and uh, stayed with me even though I did not make any videos for the past two months. Okay, so once again, thank you very much and hope to see you in my next video. Please hit the button if you like the video. Bye-bye.